Sorry for the weird backdrop today, people. I'm in an attic. That's a vent for our fireplace. This morning, I was reading this book, How to Get More Out of Holy Communion by St. Peter Julian Amard. It's a collection of little meditations, really, on the Eucharist, and I like to read them to my mom while we're on our way to Mass, so that we can prepare for Mass well. And today was a really cool reflection that I thought I'd just share with you. He was talking about how Jesus glorifies us through Holy Communion and how in uniting us to himself in this mystical union that is communion, um, he basically forces God to crown us with his glory because in making himself one with us, he's like, well, my glory is this person's glory. You got to crown us together. So, I mean, that's awesome. But he says that even, even more so than that, Jesus' glory is the glory of his Father. Like, he lived solely for the glory of his Father while he was on earth. So in bringing us into his glory, he's also bringing us into the glory of the Father and making us instruments of his Father's glory. More specifically, he's living through us to glorify his Father. Again, in, in when we receive the Eucharist, when we're in communion with him, he lives through us again to glorify his Father. So here's what it says. Having ascended into heaven, he did not wish his father to cease receiving the homage of his acts as God and man. So continuing and multiplying himself in his good communicants, he presents them to his father saying, I have entered into my glory at thy right hand, but I have become incarnate again in all these Christians, that through them and in them I may honor thee anew. I wish to make them and myself one in thy glory. I just love that image of incarnating himself anew in, in totally different way than his original way, but in a fantastic way because his way is us. When we are totally in union with him in Holy Communion, we become his flesh and blood. As you know, St. Paul says, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. We become his hands and feet on earth to bring glory to the Father and thus have the Father crown us with Jesus' glory because Jesus is glorifying him through us and yeah, it's just this fantastic circle of glorification. So that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed that little meditation. I did very much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.